When I say bananas, you say peppers. And today, you guys, I got five more five surprise mini balls. Four more, four more. Five surprise mini balls. I feel like that's a tongue twister. Anyway, uh, today we are gonna be doing more series three mini brands. After I filmed the video the other day, I went on Claire's and I ordered five more five surprise mini brands. However, I did go ahead and open up one on TikTok. Honestly, the one that I unboxed on TikTok, you guys did not miss much. I am honestly a little overwhelmed by repeats in this series three. I don't think I actually got a single new mini brand, unfortunately, in the one I opened, in the one I opened on TikTok. Why does everything I say out of my mouth today sound very awkward? So the ones that I got for the one that I opened on TikTok, I got the Hershey's Syrup, which I love this one, but I thought that we got this the other day, as well as the Icy Popsicles. I got this one again, and then literally the rest of them were from series 2.5, technically. I don't think any of these repeats we're seeing were from the series two, like the wave one release. But you guys, I said I wanted to do a little bit of research before I made another series three unboxing. And this is the first time that many brands has ever included duplicates from a past series. Every other time we've gotten like series one, well, that was the first release ever, so it was all new ones. And then when we got series two, there was none included from series one or like wave 1.5. It was a complete new collection. Then when they did the wave 2.5, there was like all the ones that you could open in the original series two, plus like 30 or 45 extra options added. But then this series three, it says 100 plus minis to collect on the ball. But in my mind, it's not really like 100 new ones to collect. I think it translates to kind of the same as we normally get. I think it was around like 70 or 75 new options. But I would have rather just had like 70 options with no repeats versus 100 minis to collect, but so many repeats from like series 2.5. I feel like that is just a brain teaser to get through. And I mean, I don't wanna make it sound like I'm like complaining because I love mini brands so much, but I do feel like a lot of people are like me, you're really trying to collect like a whole set or you're trying to get a couple of particular ones. Once you've lived with a collection for a while, I feel like it's just more exciting to get a whole brand new collection. I don't know, I would love to know you guys' thoughts and opinions on that. Let's go ahead and open these. Also, I do have five more Series 3 mini brands on the way. Probably the one I'm still most excited about is the little Kool-Aid Jammer, even though that was technically like a 2.5. Let's get in to this first thing. Okay, so we have two of the miniature shopping bags. You guys know these are some of my favorites because you can fit so many items into them. What is this? Oh, oh my gosh, this packaging is so cute. So I feel like this is probably one of those like more organic brands that I just have never seen in my life. So the brand is Mom's Best Cereals and it's a crispy cocoa rice and it's gluten-free, but it looks like there's a little llama on this box of chocolate cereal and it's so cute. I love the cereal boxes so much. And you guys, it's actually really funny because I had never tried almond honey bunches of oats or whatever. And I kept unboxing it in these mini brand balls. And I finally bought that cereal and tried it. And it is now legit my favorite cereal. So this one is so exciting. Oh my gosh, all these candy options really put me in the mood for Halloween as if I'm just not already in a Halloween mood 
24 7 but I guess it's just because like it is so many but isn't there just something like trick-or-treaty about <laughs> this packaging in particular Reese's Pieces love it so far we have two new options in this ball and here is the crystal light. And you guys, I'm telling you, this one again is like heavy repeats. I feel like we got this one a ton in series two or whatever. And here it is again. All right, one last section. Oh, it is the Hershey's chocolate syrup again. And I honestly don't know if this is our second one or our third one. And I'm trying to make sure because there are two different options of the chocolate syrup. I think one is maybe like dark chocolate and one is regular milk chocolate, but we keep getting the milk chocolate one up next here is another tgi fridays frozen food option i loved this one we got last time we got boneless buffalo wild buffalo wild wings that's a restaurant boneless buffalo wings but this is it looks like stuffed peppers yeah cheddar cheese stuffed jalapeno poppers i keep reading this word as peppers but it's poppers so that is a new option and oh my gosh you guys have to let me know what other food like that is out there where it is like frozen food or maybe even like sauces and condiments from like restaurants fast food places that i can buy and try that is another mr good bar so that is a repeat because i was telling you guys i love these too i love those products in the store where it's like restaurant food that you can buy and make yourself at home Ooh, this is really fun so i do think that there was some warheads candy from series one and 1.5. I don't 100% remember what it was, but this one is so fun and so cute. So this is Warhead's Super Sour Double Drop Candy. So one side would be flavored like green apple and the other side would be flavored like watermelon. And I've never had this candy. I feel like I've had like Warhead's gum and regular Warheads, of course, but I've never had any of the like sour drop candy so am i missing out should i try it what is this uh so i believe that this is another carryover from the last series this is the laughing cow spreads i think this is a cheese product i think that's all laughing cow makes but once again i could be wrong okay one last section Ooh, okay let me pause and put this together it's some kind of shelving unit but i think there is one new like shelving option so let me put it together and see if it looks like something brand new for series three or if it's a carryover this is awesome because we did get a new shelf option so i think i mistakenly said that this shelving unit was maybe a repeat but it is a little bit different because it actually has these expandable shelves so you can push them in or pull them out which i think is great because that has honestly been one of my critiques of the shelves in the past is that you cannot fit many items on it but with this new like expandable version i feel like you would be able to like set and display more mini brands pretty cute i'm also not sure i don't think i have a shelf assembled in here right now but this one also might be a little bit taller. So pretty cool. I think last time they added like a rolling shelf, which I thought that that was kind of a cute addition as well to add like wheels to the shelves. All right, two balls left. What is gonna be behind door number one? What is this? Zatarans. I do think that this is a repeat. I know for sure we had a uh, Zatarans in series two, 2.5. Now, could this be a different flavor possibly? Yes, but I think that the jambalaya, that seems really familiar. So I'm pretty sure it's a repeat. Oh, was this the one we got last time? Let's see. Uh, it looks like, yes, this is the TGI Friday 
chicken wings that we saw last time. Really cute. And oh my gosh, another like super repeat from series two. The stove top turkey, I think it is. Yeah, stove top turkey. Let's see. Ooh, this is a completely new one, I think. I'm trying to find out the flavor. It looks like it's just saying sugar free, but we had Mentos options from series one, and those were absolutely some of my favorites because I really love like when they're these like little jars and stuff and they look clear on the inside. I feel like that's why I love a lot of the spices and stuff as well. So this is Mentos toast gum. And like I said, it just says sugar free. I don't see like a particular fruit flavor. So maybe it's like a mixed fruit. Let me see what, ooh, we got another chocolate bar. So this is the Heath bar. And once again, very Halloween. Maybe that's why they did a lot of candy this time because they know like Halloween is coming. I'm calling it now you guys. I'm kind of thinking one of the reasons why we have not been seeing many beauty products like for the past two series collections now is I really bet that they're going to do a beauty five surprise with like all makeup and toiletries if they're not they should it would be really successful because i feel like you've got a lot of makeup lovers out there that also love many brands i mean honestly i feel like many brands are so collectible so successful that they could do just like little launches little waves i mean maybe they're testing that out now with the gold ones but for it, from my standpoint they could do one that's totally just like household related items. They could do ones that is beauty related items. Um, I of course wish that they would do Halloween ones. Can you imagine? I'm sure I've said that in another video, uh, but like miniature Halloween items. Oh my gosh. Okay, so we have another candy one. I love this. It is the Bubble Yum. And I think it only looks metallic because the actual Bubble Yum packaging is metallic. I'm just gonna reconsult the list. I don't think that that was like a metallic option. Yeah, no, that is just, so this is almost kind of like a bonus metallic one, doesn't that? It looks so shiny. Now I wish we could get a metallic one to compare. Oh my gosh, yeah, I'm just now noticing, you guys, I don't think we've gotten a single like rare one yet. I don't think we've gotten any metallics, glow in the dark or gold. And this will be my 10th fall that I've opened. Okay, we have, uh, you guys are gonna have to remind me if this was a duplicate or not. I know that we have had lots of um, Philly cream cheese options before but I'm not sure if this exact thing was in there. So this is just the original cream cheese spread. So I think we did see this one in series two or 2.5, but I don't 100% remember. Let's open this one. Oh my gosh. Okay, so this was probably the other one you know what maybe this is the one that i was like most excited for in series three because it's the barnum's animal crackers isn't it funny that they're called crackers because they're definitely cookies like i think of crackers as like ritz crackers or something not like cookies aren't they called biscuits in the uk and what else are they called i think that there's like so many different terms for like cookies but crackers is unique. I don't know. Up next. Ooh, okay. So this was the other kind of Hershey's syrup. So it's actually strawberry, which, oh my gosh, you guys, it has been so long since I've had like strawberry milk or banana milk. And now I kind of want to try it. I feel like whenever I gravitate towards like flavored milk or something, it's always chocolate milk. But yeah, so there are our two common Hershey's syrup bottles. Now I do think both of these options are also the gold, like they, you can find them in gold as well. And you guys, we only have one more section. Ah! Oh my gosh. Okay. So it is a repeat 
of the shelf that I just built. So I'm gonna count out and see really quick how many new ones we got today. We got 10 new ones out of four balls. I don't know what the statistics of all of that would be. I don't know, I feel like, I feel like I'm having like such mixed feelings because the new ones we're getting, oh my gosh, these are probably some of my favorite mini brands, literally of all time. I love the little tiny syrup bottle and like the Barnum animal cookies. I love them so much, but I guess that is my only complaint is I love mini brands so much that I want to see like what the new ones are going to be. The totally brand new ones. I kind of do hope that they never do this again. I hope that like when series four comes out, it's going to be all completely brand new ones. Cause I do just feel like I have like less to collect now, but we're still on the Kool-Aid quest because I still haven't gotten the Kool-Aid jammer despite that being a carryover from last series. So anyway, once again, I would love to know all of you guys' thoughts and opinions in the comments down below. Let me know what you're thinking and what you're feeling about mini brands series three. Anyway, that is it for today's video. If you'd like to and you're not already, hit the button down below. Subscribe! Become a member of the Banana Pepper Squad today. Thank you guys so, so much for hanging out today and for watching. And uh, until I see you guys again, stay happy, stay healthy, stay sassy, stay banana peppery. Um, I love you guys so, so much. And I'll be back again very, very soon. Bye!